Hello, today I'm going to show you how to CSS the flags for level 2. So I'm going to do one of each type. So uh, type A is just a vertical stripe on the left, type B is a triangle on the left, type C you can see it here, and type uh, D you can see it here, it's a cross. So let's get started. Now let's go... where was it? Around here. Okay, so um, here I have this stripe on the left which is a third of everything horizontally. And I'm going to do that with a border. Um, so um, I'm going to create a silent class here. So uh, side. And because I'm going to add a border, and by default the border adds to the size, to the dimensions of the element, I'm going to set the box sizing border box so that this doesn't happen anymore. And then I'm going to have border uh, solid zero uh, transparent, and then I'm going to have border left color current color. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to have border width, and here I'm going to use a custom property border uh, width top which is zero by default. And you may be wondering why use custom pro properties and not use the long hands. Well, because I can tie custom properties to one another. So here I have uh, the width of the, of the top border. Then I have zero for right. And then I have my bottom one, which is by default equal to the top one. So this is what I mean by tying them to one another. And Finally, I have again uh, zero. So uh, this is for the side. And now I'm going to go back. And here I'm going to have extend side. And I'm going to have border left width. And this one is going to be um, a third of my flag width. Okay, um, like, like this, and I also need to do okay, and this should do it. And as you can see, I have it there. Okay, uh, now for the triangle, let's uh, get this out of the way. Uh, and for the triangle, I'm going to do something similar. So the triangle here, now let's, and just a bit, here I have the geometry, and as you can see the triangle uh, stretches out to the middle of the flag. So um, I'm going to have something pretty similar, except I'm not going to use side, I'm going to extend side, so I'm going to have a side triangle. I'm going to have extend side, and in this case, the top of border. So this one is going to be half the height. Um, okay, so like this. And now I'm going to extend the side triangle here. And I'm going to have that border left width is calc a uh, half of the um, flag width. Okay. Um, and then I'm also going to have here color. And uh, this gives me the flag I wanted, as you can see it there. Okay, now that I've done this, uh, I'm going to do uh, something similar. Okay, um, let's find C. Okay, level C. Um, and here, I okay, I have something like a construction sheet as well. And here it's three, 
and this part is 9, so together it's 12, and 3 is a fourth of 12, so it's a quarter. So I'm going to have extend side, and I'm going to have that the border width on the top is, um, I would say, S0, because uh, it... Um, stretches out to one stripe but this is in percent values and percent values for borders uh, don't work the same for uh, as for um, linear gradient backgrounds or any other sort of um, gradient backgrounds so I'm not going to use that I'm going to use some um, calc um, the height over three and as for left border left width and this one is calc a quarter of the width okay um okay uh this worked and you can see it there all right now for the cross for the cross i'm going to do something pretty similar and um I'm going to have another silent class here, cross, and this one also extend side, extend side. I'm going to have a border left uh, color transparent, and um, I'm also going to have a box shadow which uses some custom properties for the offsets. So um, the X offset, and then I'm going to have the Y offset. Uh, and then I'm going to have zero. And then I'm going to have the spread. Um, this is Y, and it's going to be an inset shadow. So um, not the color on uh, the spread. Okay, I'm going to have inset um, and also a spread, no, a color, sorry. So, um, X offset, Y offset, a blur, spread, color, inset. Okay, uh, so this one is going to be uh, the second color in the gradient by default. Okay. Now that I've done this, I'm going to move on here and I'm going to have extend cross and then I'm going to have, I could uh, do something like here and I'm going to have border left width and here I'm computing uh, S0 I'm not computing it in percent values, I'm computing it relative to the height. So I can do it just like this. Uh, but then, when I need to do the offset, the X offset, I can't uh, use uh, the same method, uh, using it as the difference between uh, S1 and S0, because uh, S1 depends on a percent value. So what I'm going to do is border, um, no, um, I already did that. So uh, this one is calc, so uh, this should do it, and as you can see I got the cross. And one more thing here. Um, I can do, I can extend the side triangle and make it an equilateral one. And here I'm going to have extend side uh, triangle. Uh, and I'm going to have that uh, border left width is um, the height times sinus 
of 60 degrees. And in this case, I can do uh, another flag. So um, here, I can do this flag, extend. And as you can see, I got my triangle there and it all looks fine. So um, yeah, this is how you do level two of the challenge. I hope you've enjoyed this video and until next time.